Hi, Brian Auer from FeelingNegative.com. Welcome to another video episode. So last time we talked about loading up your film on the reels, putting them in the tanks, and getting ready for developing. This time we're going to talk a little bit about chemicals. It's a very broad topic and there's we really can't cover a whole lot in a video post or even in a single post on the blog. So this is just sort of an introductory on you know how to mix them up and some of the pros and cons of each of them. So I'm going to go through the chemicals that I have on hand. Um, but first I want to show you just real basically what you'll need to mix them up and how to mix them up and things like that. So it's very, very basic stuff here. Um, I'm going to be working with the liquid concentrates. That's mainly what I work with for black and white. For the color stuff I'll do the powder kits. But what I'm going to show you here is all going to be liquid concentrate stuff. So I'm also assuming that you've either got your eye on some chemicals or you already have chemicals or you know what you're getting. Uh, if you don't, you know, definitely do more research or ask more questions, but we're not going to go through that here. So, what I will do when I go to mix up my chemicals is I'll typically lay out my three cups and I'll just mix the chemicals right up in these. Um, they hold enough, you know, you'll need, uh, depending on the size of your tanks, you'll need either 250 or 500 milliliters of working solution. So these guys will take 250, these guys will take 500. So that's the amount that you want to mix total between water and chemical when you mix up your, your solutions there. So, like I said, I'll line these up. Um, I typically use the same ones for the same chemicals each time, just so I'm not cross-contaminating anything inadvertently. But um, with my, I'll just use this developer for an example, the Ilfosol 3. What you'll notice is right on the front label it says, you know, um, to make five liters, one plus nine. Okay, so what does that mean exactly? That tells you how much of this you need to mix with water, with how much water, to make a working solution. So, one plus nine means just that. One part of this to nine parts of water for ten parts total. So what you can do is take that ratio and you know, do a little bit of math based on how much total working solution you want. Let's say it's 500 milliliters, 10 parts total, that's 50 milliliters per part. So for one part of this, we get 50 milliliters of this mixed with 450 milliliters of water. Gives us a total working solution of 500. Same thing with the stop bath here. Um, this is a 1 plus 19 mixture ratio. So 25 milliliters of this guy to 475 water gives us a working solution and the fixture that I've got is um, a 1 plus 4 so 100 milliliters of this to 400 milliliters of water gives us our total working solution so once those are all mixed up then what you have to worry about is getting your developer up to temperature or down to temperature and once that happens you're ready to go I guess I can go into some of the, the more details on the actual chemicals that I have here. Um, I want to start with the stop bath. I have the stop bath and the fixer and the developer set up here. So these are the three main chemicals that you're going to need to develop black and white film. Okay, we'll go through the developers in just a second. These are all developers. Stop bath, not completely necessary. You can just use water uh, as an intermediate step. What this does is it just stops the developing process as soon as it's poured in. This is a reusable chemical. Um, after it's mixed up in its working solution form, it can be used over and over and over again, basically until I think this one is the one that turns purple when it uh, when it goes bad. So it starts yellow and turns purple once it's all used up, and that'll tell you that your chemicals are pretty much toast. But this can be used for many many um, cycles. So if you have ten rolls of film to develop, you don't have to mix this up every time. You mix it once, that's it. Same thing with the fixer, it'll fix a whole lot of rolls of film after it's mixed up. So you don't have to mix this every single time you're developing a roll. If you're doing 10 at once, it'll take care of all of them. Okay, so those are those two. Uh, and these are the Ilford Rapid Fixer and Ilford, Ilford Stop Bath, the Ilford Stop. Okay, so those are those. Um, now, developers, on the other hand, there's a lot of different ones out there, and they all do different things. Um, a little, you know, they well, they do the same thing, but they work a little differently from each other. So, <clears throat> I typically have more than one developer on hand uh, based on what I want to do with the film. So, one of the ones that I have is the Ilford, the Ilfosol 3. This is just kind of a real basic, run-of-the-mill, 
uh, liquid concentrates, you know, it'll develop quite a few different films, fairly low grain, things like that. Um, so this one I usually have on hand. I'm starting to use it less and less because I'm using one of the other ones more often, but it's not a bad one to have. Um, it just tends to go bad fairly quickly. You know, it'll start to turn real dark brown if it's half empty or, or less, and then you can't use it anymore, basically. <clears throat> you can try, but I've never done it. Um, one of the other ones that I have is a Diaphine. And this is made, this is mixed up. It comes in a powder form, and you mix up an A and a B solution. So, um, this stuff is kind of interesting in that it's, you know, it, when you develop a film with it, it only develops to one speed. Um, there's no pushing or pulling with this because there's no um, there's no variation on the time that you use it. Basically, how you use this one as a two part is you pour in part A, you do your developing, you do your agitation, and then after three minutes, doesn't matter if it stays in there for a little bit longer even, but after three minutes, you pour it back in here. This is a reusable. This is not a one shot like. I should have mentioned this one. So after you pour part A back in, then you go for part B, do the same thing another three minutes at least, and then you pour it back in here, reuse it again. Um, stuff works pretty good. It, it works well for certain films and not so well for other films, but like I said, you're kind of limited to one speed, so you got to look up those speeds um, on a development chart or something to tell you. Uh, what speed to shoot the film at to use that that solution the cool stuff the cool thing about this stuff is from what I've heard it lasts for pretty much ever um, you'll use up a little bit at a time you can see I've kind of squeezed some of the air out of there but you'll use up a little bit at a time just absorbing it in the film and just you know whatever's left in the tank or whatever after you're done but um, okay so then there's the road null. Um, this is probably my personal preference, my personal recommendation for developers for black and white is the Agfa Rodinol. This stuff is pretty much amazing. Um, it'll develop just about any film out there and you can push and pull and do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. Change your contrast. Um, it's really good stuff. The other neat thing about this is is it's not expensive. It costs about fifteen or twenty dollars for this bottle and it lasts forever. Okay, two reasons that it lasts forever. One is that it just has a long shelf life. I think it says it has like a six month or 12 month or whatever it says, it, it has some shelf life. But I've heard of people having like a half empty bottle like less than this um, for years and it still works fine. So it lasts a long time, it has a long shelf life. And unlike this, this one might be mixing up, you know, uh, 50 milliliters at a time for a batch. Okay, for one shot basically. This for one shot might be five or ten milliliters. So it's you use a lot less of it. This works at a one plus twenty-five concentrate or a one plus fifty or even a one plus one hundred concentrate. So you're using a lot less of this. So like I said, I've had this for probably a year or two at least, and I'm not even halfway through it. And I use it quite a bit. Okay, so um, if you're going to be using that, it's handy to have something like a little syringe. You know, I've got a, what is this, a five milliliter syringe so that I can accurately measure out, you know, either two and a half or five milliliters or whatever it is. Because it's pretty important you're mixing up those very small amounts to actually get it right. Um, so like I said, personal recommendation, this is good stuff. Okay. So that's pretty much it for the chemical side of the, the process for developing black and white film. Um, basically what you need to know is that you need to have a developer, optional stop bath, and a fixer. And then you're going to need some measuring cups and thermometer to mix up your chemicals with the water. Um, there's not a whole lot to it, so I'm not actually going to mix up the chemicals right here because it would just be me pouring chemicals into the things and it's not that exciting. Uh, in the next video, I'll actually mix up some chemicals and when I have some film to develop and I'll show you the whole developing process and how to do the agitation and stuff like that. So check out the website. We'll have more discussion on these various chemicals and other chemicals too. So we'll see you guys there.